just when you thought Star Wars was moving away from the Skywalker saga and legacy characters, there's a new report coming out saying that we're getting Natalie Portman coming back as Padme in Star Wars. Nick, how are they going to pull this off? Do you believe that there's any truth to this? What's your take? Uh, bring her back for what? Like, I, I just don't know what you bring her back for. I mean, we got tons of story from her in the Clone Wars. We got her pretty much her whole arc, you know, from, uh, you know, episode one mm -hmm. when she was a queen all the way right. till she died. Yeah. Um, the actress is much older now, and she, you know, obviously she's not aging anymore in the in the movies because her character's dead. Right. So it it just doesn't make any sense. I literally see no need for this, and I just see this as more, you know, them trying to jingle keys or throw member berries or nostalgia out there, and just just to try to get anybody, somebody to come watch their uh, their content or be excited about something. I, I, I'm going to push back a little bit. If we're watching the Ahsoka series, and we know that Hayden Christensen is going to be in the Ahsoka series, we're going to mm -hmm. get flashbacks of Anakin in the Ahsoka series, and I, for one, am extremely excited to see that. I want to see more of that, especially in the live action. We've never had a live action Ahsoka Anakin scene. It would be really cool if we also had a Padme scene, just give us one scene. I think, uh, I mean, you could say that that's member berries. I totally understand what you're saying there, but it, depending on the story and the writing and how they pull that off, that could be a very emotional type scene that fans could really get behind. And I could see myself. I love the character. I love Padme. She's the, she's the matriarch. She's the father or the, the, the mother, sorry, of, Luke and Leia, the famous twins, I would love to see uh, some type of tie-in with Padme in the Ahsoka show. Uh, now, we definitely don't want to see... She, she just, you know, she wouldn't fit in Andor, I, I don't think, or anything like that. Uh, she would be... Well, I mean, she's already dead. <laughs> She's already dead yeah. in, in the Andor series, so we don't need a flashback there. But the Ahsoka series, I, I could totally see that and get behind that. Comment? Uh, You're just not buying I it. Don't, no. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I could see him doing it. The thing is, honestly, I just don't care um, about Padme uh, or this character making any kind of return, honestly. You are such a um, sexist. <laughs> I mean, I just, I just don't really care that much about yeah. the character. I mean, it could be a cool scene. I completely see what you're saying. Yeah. And maybe if they do it and I watch it, I'm like, okay, that, that worked. I actually kind of liked that scene. And I thought it added to the story or enhanced, yeah. you know, that relationship, uh, you know, vibe between them. So well, there, there is a generation of star Wars fans who, who are, you know, the generation behind us, if you will. Yeah. That grew and, up but, with the prequels first, and for them to get a flashback with Padme Amidala, that could really reignite that generation of fans. Yeah, but if they do a flashback with two forty-year-olds when they're supposed to be, you know, in their early twenties, it's it's just going to completely. They got to shamook it. You're you're right about yeah. that, and they didn't yeah. do that in Kenobi with no. with Hayden. You're right. He looks like a forty-year-old Padawan. Yeah. <laughs> I thought about the 40 year old yep. virgin when I said that. So, <laughs> anyways, let us know, well, guys. He, he, he's a Jedi, so he was um, at that point in time, but he just wasn't 40. <laughs> yeah. Let us know, guys, what you think in, in the comments about the possible return of Padme uh, and Natalie Portman uh, reprising that role. We are UR Echo Base Network. We'll see you guys on the next one. See you guys.